uh, in Malawi, we also test if there are systematic differences in the price of foods uh, between more versus less remote markets. Uh, in Malawi, the food prices are collected by National Statistical Office, and it has um, four regional offices in four cities uh, in Malawi. So this requires uh, the price collectors to go to the field every month for pricing some food items. So the National Statistical Office has um, a predetermined list of uh, 55 food items and that are collected over 29 rural markets. So uh, we have two types of markets that are considered. The first one is the market in the district capital, located at the district capital, and the second one is a more remote market that is located elsewhere. So the district capital markets are operational on a daily basis. Um, so was the remote, remote markets are operational at certain days of the week. So the price collectors uh, go to collect price data from the district capital markets at any day of the week, whilst uh, during, whilst for the remote markets, they have to go during the marketing days to collect the prices. So our hypothesis uh, is that the more the prices for in the more remote markets are quite high because uh, then because the prices for nutritious foods uh, that are typically more perishable. Um, Requires some kind of uh, storage facilities which may not be available in the low remote areas. So what we found is contrary to our expectation is that um, the debt costs are higher in um, DC capital markets by a dollar sixty one cents, whilst in uh, um, more remote markets uh, the cost is one a dollar and forty eight cents. Whilst the cost of carol adipensy is also higher uh, in the DC capital markets by a dollar and zero one cent, whilst cost of carol adipensy is lower in more remote markets uh, by 7.5 cents. And again, uh, what we found is that in more remote markets, the prices are lower for vegetables, fruits, and starchy staples. Uh, let's see if the prices over time are different in different regions from fakeness.